Have you ever wondered how crude oil from the depths of the ocean is transported? The only way to transport this treasure is by using an oil tanker ship. These ships are specifically designed to transport crude oil from its production location to oil refineries. The process is quite complex, requiring precise calculations and taking a considerable amount of time. Since their inception in the late 19th century, oil tanker ships have become essential in meeting global energy demands. According to data from the International Energy Agency, approximately 90% of crude oil and its derivative products are transported by oil tanker ships. These ships carry various liquids, including crude oil, fuel oil, natural gas, chemicals and processed fuel products. The first oil tanker ship began operating in 1851, transporting crude oil from Pennsylvania to New York. At that time, these ships used metal containers, which were not very safe, to transport crude oil. By 1873, ship designers started creating specialized oil tanker ships, equipped with safe pumps and discharge systems, allowing them to transport large quantities of oil safely. Oil tanker ships can be classified into two types based on capacity and the type of cargo they transport. Crude oil tankers and product tankers. Crude oil tankers are used to transport crude oil from offshore drilling platforms to various ports worldwide. These ships are larger than product tankers, which are specifically designed to transport refined oil products from one port to another. A typical oil tanker can carry between 1.9 and 3.7 million barrels of West Texas Intermediate crude oil in a single shipment. There are two classes of such large tankers, very large crude carriers, VLCCs, and ultra-large crude carriers, ULCCs. VLCCs can carry crude oil worth around $162 million, while ULCCs can transport full loads worth approximately $300 million. One of the active VLCCs is the Pertamina Pride, operated by the Indonesian oil and gas company, PT Pertamina. Pertamina Pride can load 2 million barrels of oil in a single shipment. It was constructed at the Japan Marine United Shipyard starting in 2018 and has a size of 301,000 deadweight tonnage. After its inauguration, the ship made its maiden voyage on February 9, 2021. Other oil tankers capable of carrying up to 2 million barrels include Pertamina Prime and MTPS Pioneer. In addition to crude oil tankers, product tanker ships are used to transport crude oil but with smaller capacities. Typically, product tankers have capacities ranging from 70,000 to 345,000 barrels of gasoline. They come in two classes, General Purpose, GP, and Medium Range, MR. These ships transport various petroleum products, such as diesel, gas oil, lubricating oil, and gasoline between ports. Other classes of product tankers capable of carrying crude oil include Long Range 1 and Long Range 2, with cargo capacities ranging from 345,000 to 615,000 barrels of gasoline or 310,000 to 550,000 barrels of light sweet crude oil. Oil tanker ships are designed with elongated flat hulls and mostly have 8 to 12 oil tanks. They also have double hulls to enhance cargo safety and reduce the risk of damage in case of accidents. During the oil loading process on an oil tanker, 
Effective communication between the loading terminal representatives and the ship's captain is crucial. Before the mooring process begins, they discuss all the details of the ship's loading plan and cargo, including the loading rate. Subsequently, the supervision crew ensures that all tank openings are securely closed. Fire hazards such as electrical equipment, radios and radar are turned off because oil is highly flammable. The oil pumping process into the ship's tanks starts at a very slow rate, using only one tank to avoid static electricity buildup. Shortly after, workers confirm safety checks and cargo temperature. Other crew members open additional loading tanks and request the terminal to increase the rate cautiously, following the predetermined rate. This entire oil pumping process can take a long time, ranging from 1 to 10 hours. As an oil tanker approaches a port, preparations for mooring and loading operations begin. However, before this, the ship's captain must contact the port's ship traffic service via communication devices at least 24 hours before the ship's arrival to confirm berthing services. During berthing, these massive tanker ships are assisted by small boats known as tugboats. Tugboats were first built in the 1810s, specifically designed for mooring and berthing large vessels in ports. Tugboats are responsible for towing or pushing large ships into ports or through narrow channels. They are also used in maneuvering unpowered ships, offshore platforms and barges. Tugboats can even be operated in emergencies, such as fires or ship damage, to pull ships out of danger zones and extinguish fires. Despite their small size, tugboats can move much larger and heavier vessels. To facilitate this, tugboats are equipped with engines ranging from 680 to 3,400 horsepower, which can produce a power-to-tonnage ratio of 9.5 allowing them to move ships 1,000 times larger and heavier. During the berthing process, precision is paramount, as even slight errors can damage the ship and lead to environmental disasters. This is why, when an oil tanker reaches a port, it stops and relies on the tugboat's power. Oil tankers have large engine rooms equipped with backup navigation systems in case of primary system failures. They also have specialized equipment for cleaning cargo tanks and slop tanks to store oil residues. These ships are equipped with multiple safety systems, including enhanced firefighting equipment and gas suppression systems to prevent combustion. Crude oil is a hazardous substance, and if not handled properly, it poses significant risks to human health and the environment. Therefore, professional and trained crew members are essential to work on oil tanker ships. Crew members are required to undergo specialized safety training to ensure they know what to do in emergencies. They must also understand how to act based on various alarm variables within the ship to ensure all systems operate according to procedures and remain safe, the ship's crew conducts extensive checks and specific training every day. Crew members of oil tanker ships lead a different life compared to the general population. They must be prepared to face various possibilities, including the risk of accidents, extreme weather conditions, and long periods of separation from family and loved ones. They often work on board the tanker for extended periods, sometimes for months. As a result, oil tanker ships provide various support facilities for crew members. These facilities include lounges for socializing and playing games, gyms for exercise to maintain health and fitness, and well-equipped kitchens where skilled chefs prepare nutritious and delicious meals every day. 
The ship's kitchen meets high standards similar to those of regular restaurants. Additionally, the tanker provides dedicated dining areas for the crew. Internet networks with fast connectivity are also available on board, allowing crew members to communicate with their families and friends. For rest, the tanker offers crew-specific bedrooms complete with beds and wardrobes. Inside the oil tanker, the crew is divided into several positions, including the captain, chief officer, watch officers, engineers, deck officers, and more. Each day, crew members work for 8 to 12 hours, following predefined shifts set by the company. Senior officers typically work actively for three months and then have three months off. Junior officers work actively for three months and then have two months off. Despite the risks and long hours, the income earned by oil tanker crew members is substantial compared to jobs in other sectors. For example, an LNG tanker captain can earn a monthly salary of around $16,000 to $18,000. Captains of chemical tankers can make between $13,000 and $15,000 per month. Meanwhile, Captains of crude oil tankers can earn approximately $11,000 to $14,000 per month. The high earnings make it an attractive career, but one that comes with high risks, 